Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're trying two new things. One sounds amazing. The other one, mm, not, not sure about man. But we're having this. Now I don't know how that is supposed to work. Pepperoni pizza in a pie. Uh, yeah, so I have no idea. Uh, that one I'm a bit mm, about. This one, however, from Morrison's. <coughs> Look at that. A dumpling topped steak pie. Like, wow. That sounds. F I love dumplings. That sounds amazing. So yeah, I cannot wait to give them a try and see what I really think of them. This one I'm really looking forward to the most. Uh, the poker pie worries me, but you know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm just cooking them in the oven now. As soon as they're done, I'll bring you back and we'll get started. Right. Here we are, the food in front of me. I'm looking forward to trying it. I don't normally do a poker pie in the oven because it goes quite crispy like this I like to do mine in the microwave <laughs> so it goes soggy uh, um, yeah but I'm really really looking forward to trying this because those of you who are regular on the channel know I don't really like mashed potato so I'm not really a big fan of mash so with cottage pie and stuff I'm not mm, but yeah looking forward to trying this See what I think of the dumpling. Potentially, I could have cooked it for too long. Um, judging from the pie, I probably did, unfortunately. That's on me. But I'll tell you what, let's open up this pie and have a little look inside. It's a lot, a lot of filling than I was expecting. Let's see if I can show you without burning my fingers off. So yeah, I, I was expecting, I, I thought it was going to be basically empty, level at the bottom. But no, it is packed with stuff. So I'm assuming that's cheese, tomato and pepperoni in there. So. Give this a try. You know what, the lid weren't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's give this a little try. Looks like it's the small pepperoni pieces, you know like on the Chicago, Chicago Town pizza. This is absolutely steaming.
you know what, filling is nice. However, I don't know about it being in the pizza, uh, in, <laughs> inside a, a pie. But the filling is nice though. Right, let me leave that to cool down for a bit and let me have some of this. Let's try some of the dumpling topping. Let's try a bit of this dumpling topping. Mm. I love dumpling. Oh, dumplings are amazing. Oh, that is lovely. Um, bit too crunchy on top. My fault, again. I either left it in there for too long, because it said for 25 minutes, and I left it in there for 25 minutes. However, I might have put the temperature up too much, which overcooked it. The, the dumpling top steak top top dumpling top steak pie it says 30 minutes and I only had it in there for 25 and it says for 190 so it could be the fact that I've got a crappy oven which is on its last legs <laughs> but right, let's try to top it the um, steak inside Oh, that's nice. That is lovely. Let's leave that to cool for a little bit. Let's have some more in my poker pie. Pull it down, it's so bloody hot. Ow. Yeah, you know what? That's nice. That is really, it's nicer than I was expecting. Do I think it belongs in a puka pie? No, not really. Um, but it's nice though, it's not, it's not bad. It's genuinely not bad. So I was looking to go to the new place on the way back from my sister's. But it was my sister dropping me home. Or, well, well, my sister's boyfriend dropped me home uh, in the end, actually. And I, I, I didn't, it didn't feel right, me asking them to take a detour to just, just to pick up the keys. Um, so I got, my mum was, my mum was, my mum has given me uh, the sofa that is in her caravan uh, because she's ordered a new one and that's, that sofa was in the caravan when she got it so I'm getting that sofa in my new place um, so my mum brought it uh, today with my sister so thanks to both of them and, and my sister's boyfriend helped as well so thank you for those three for doing it I was <laughs> I got ready, I got dressed, uh, 
ready to go thinking someone was going to come and pick me up and take me there. No one did. So I still haven't. I still haven't gone to the place yet. I had the keys. My mum's been in. Um, my sister's been in. I haven't been in there yet. Um, so as soon as I do get down there, I will make a video and show you what it looks like. I promise. But I haven't, as of yet, been into the property yet. Mmm. I would definitely recommend giving this Yeah, I'd def definitely recommend giving this dumpling topped steak pie a try Get down to your local Morrison's and see if they have it because yeah, oh it is lovely. It is nice. Could it do with some cheese on top? I'm not sure, you know. I'm really not sure. I got myself a delivery pass with Moton's five pound a month and I can get as many deliveries as I want um, Tuesday between Tuesday and Thursday so Tuesday Wednesday or, or is it Monday and Thursday I'm not sure it's a midweek pass so it's probably Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday any of those three days I can get a delivery for free and I only have to spend £25 on groceries to get it as well. Tesco do the same thing. So if you didn't know, I know Tesco don't advertise it anymore. Tesco still do a delivery pass. Pass. You can get a yearly delivery pass or a monthly one if you want um, to get your groceries delivered for free from Tesco. <clears throat> you can get an off-peak pass from Tesco where you can get deliveries any day of the week after 3pm. Or if you, you can get the peak delivery pass, which is a bit more expensive for any time you want. I think you're limited to one delivery a day um, on Tesco. But what's good with these delivery passes as well is they're not address locked, they're account locked. So if I wanted to get groceries delivered to my mum or my sister, for example, I can use my delivery pass to get free delivery to them so yeah that's an option for you guys if you want to try it mm. This is lovely. This dumpling top steak pie. Oh, it is really, really lovely. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have already tried this. Yeah, and if you tried to. Mm. You know what? The crispy, <laughs> the crispiness from the dumplings is growing on me. You know. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely lovely. I need to get back and finish that in a second. 
I'm just really enjoying this. Oh, copper state that. What would you have with this to accompany it? Because I would like to get this again, but I don't know what I'd have with it. Would chips be okay to have with it? And let me know if you tried this puka pie, the pepperoni puka pie, and let me know what you thought of it. I am pleasantly surprised how full it is. You know what? That's not terrible. That's pretty nice. Tastes weird being inside a pie, but that's pretty nice. I definitely recommend both of these. Getting this to try, you know, it couldn't hurt. You might actually enjoy it in a pie. And this one, I highly recommend this one. This is lovely. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get this again. I'm probably gonna make it into a proper meal though. Have it on a have it on a plate with, I don't know, maybe some chips or something else, potentially. But yeah, look, I don't know if you can see that or not. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. If you like dumplings, I'd highly recommend this. This is lovely, man. Oh, and if you do try it, let me know what you have it with.
Oh, it is. It is still piping hot. Oh, man. Oh, that is absolutely lovely. <coughs> Man, if you guys know me like, <coughs> if you guys know me like I think you know me, you know how much of a fussy git I am. I recommend that dumpling. I wish it was bigger. I wish I could have like a family size. Oh, but yeah, that was lovely. Um, I definitely recommend doing it on a lower heat for maybe half an hour or 25 minutes maybe at 150 um, I could be wrong but yeah potentially that's what I reckon anyway but yeah really really nice I really enjoyed that uh, but yeah definitely give the pocket pie a go as well see what you think of it it's not bad it's actually not bad but it, it it's weird having it in a pizza. In a, see, every time I keep saying pizza, it's weird having it in a pie. But it's definitely worth trying and giving it a go once at least. So yeah, I definitely recommend, I highly recommend both of these. Um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video.